Okay, welcome to my third unboxing video. Um, today I thought I would do something a little bit different. I was down at Game On in Issaquah, Washington, and I came across a game that I've been looking for for a very long time. In the house we have George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead from SPI 1978. And what makes this very interesting is that it is John Butterfield's first design. Um, I have several of his solitaire games. This game is not solitaire. It is a game for two to four players. Fantastic fun for two to four, two to four gamers or for one player using the intriguing solitaire version. Accurately recreates all the action and tension of the great original film scenario by John Butterfield, art by Redmond A. Simonson. As I th said, this is uh, from SPI 1978. I first saw Dawn of the Dead when I was 13 years old, and it has, it has probably been my go-to zombie movie prior to The Walking Dead. Now, I really enjoy The Walking Dead, but when I saw this on the swap meet table, I had to grab it. Uh, bought it from Dick Boys. Um, I got it for $30 American. And you would not believe the shape this game is in. I mean, the box... I mean, yes, it has it has shelfware, but for a game that is 37 years old, this box is in great shape. And I just love the cover art of this game. Zombie Terror stalks the darkened maze in this thrilling adventure game based on George A. Romero's classic horror film, Dawn of the Dead. 100 zombie... 100, I should actually say 100 zombies four adventurers and game action playing pieces sorry correction it has 100 zombie adventure and game action playing pieces i.e. a total of 100 pieces full color playing map based on the actual film setting complete easy to learn rules now let's take a quick look inside here guys let's pop the lid dawn of the dead so inside and believe it or not when i saw this i nearly freaked the game was unpunched so here we have the counters that came with the game in 1978. Uh, you know, you've got Peter, Roger, Steve, and Fran with their sidearms or rifles. You've got their infected counters when they're zombies. You have various zombies. You've got berserk zombies. Various, uh, you know, doors are closed because you had to close doors in this game. You got a couple of hunting rifles, and there's one, two, three, four, about six counters that could have. I guess you could use to make something of your own. On the flip side, you have. I haven't read the rules, but I. You have either destroyed markers. You've got, I guess, either the strength or number of zombies. And when your characters become zombies, if they're stunned or if they are uh, wounded. Then, the game still had its three original dice. You have your typical spy rules. These are in pristine shape. And let me take a look here. One, one page, two page, three pages, four pages, five pages, six and a half pages of rules with a counter scan, or shows what counters you should have with the game. Charts and tables on the back, and then the piece de resistance, the map of the mall. So basically the game is played out over the map of the mall, and from what I recall when I read, you've got to close the various entrances to the mall to keep more zombies from coming in, but then you have to clear the inside of the mall. You've got your movies, you've got, uh, you know, you've got your... Se sequence of play, um, obviously these, these show where the zombies appear in the various places in the mall. It's a square grid with numbers. And then what also came with the game was that this looks like, it looks like this is an advertisement showing various rules as well as sequence of play and charts. But uh, I've seen this game go for as high as $200 on Board Game Geek. Um, I got it for a very good price while at the convention several people actually offered me more money for it but in the spirit of the convention where games are priced to move there was no way I was turning around and selling this for profit 
because if anyone was going to make a profit, it would be the person who sold it to me. And like I said, this game has been on my watch list for a long time. That's my unboxing. I can't wait to go through the rules. Um, I'm not going to punch the counters. If anything, I'm going to make a counter scan, or perhaps I'm going to use my, my plastic zombies from the game Zombies, get some miniatures for the characters, and probably blow the map up. But another spy game in my collection. Very happy to get this. Dawn of the Dead. John Butterfield's very first game. I've got a couple of his games. I've got D-Day at Omaha Beach, D-Day at Peleliu. I've got uh, Voyage of the BSM Pandora, another game he worked on. Um, and I'm looking forward to giving this game a try. So, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing video of Dawn of the Dead by George, sorry, George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead. Sorry for the rough script, guys. This wasn't scripted. It's basically a gorilla on the fly video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Take care. Rob Bottas, signing out.